All right, let's get started. I need to show you every single control that's on this amplifier because it just never stops. It's just piles and piles of tone shaping controls on this amplifier. It is honestly kind of ridiculous. On the face of it, we've got a FET gain knob. This introduces some either bi-FET or MOSFET or boba FET overdrive into the signal, some saturation, some dirt, some grit. Uh, then you've got your pre-volume. That also introduces dirt and grit and saturation. There's a lot of redundancy here. <laughs> so if you dime these two and turn down the master control, it's not a clean amplifier anymore. It's not a heavy gain amplifier, and it's not even a mid gain amplifier, but it gives you this saturated kind of gritty crunch, which is a lot of fun to mess around with. Then you've got Three switches here, bright, deep, a selection in between rock or jazz. That's all this amp does. Not blues, not ska, not metal, just rock and jazz. There's no surf on there, but I think rock and jazz are both close enough. So it could go back and forth. It could be, you know, surf lands under rock. It also lands under jazz in certain ways. I think both of those settings are appropriate. Then you've got your standard three band EQ, treble, middle, and bass, normal stuff for an amplifier, right? And then you've got a high and low filter control. What the heck is going on there? This is like a powerhouse of tone shaping. It's not a knob. Well, it is a knob, but it's not a rotor. It's, a, it's, it's, it's not a pot, it's a switch. It is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven position switch to give you different filtering options for your high frequencies. And then again, for your low frequencies. Then you've got a two knob reverb, a reverb with a send and a return. This has a long two spring reverb in it. I think that was the specs on it, but this is very interesting because the send is basically your normal control that you would find on any amplifier. But then the return gives you the ability to dial it back. Like a reverb, when you turn it up, it changes its character as it turns up. Like it gets drippier when you turn it all the way up, it gets more mellow as you turn it down. Like say you wanna go like full saturation on a normal reverb, but you still wanna pull it back and have it be a little bit behind your playing. You can use the return to do that. Then of course, the master control, and of course a control that no tone tweaking amp would be complete without a presence control at the very end. And that's not the end of it. There's also a switch on the back. I took a photo of it earlier because I can't remember what it says exactly or what it even means. L-N-F-B. There is a three position switch right back here. In the down position, it's brighter, it's thinner, it's flatter sounding. And as you go up, to the top position, it's like this low mid boost. It's like this fattener. I mean, there's already a like a deep switch here that fattens things up. <laughs> so there's another switch back here. Like I said, there's a lot of redundancy here. Gain control, gain control, tone controls, tone controls, tone control, tone controls, tone control back here. And it has an effects loop, but let's start playing around with it. I don't, e I don't even know where to start with this thing, like, <laughs> it is it is a clean sound builder. Like you could, you could make so many different clean sounds with this amplifier. So where do I start off with it? Where, where are we right now? Let's mess around with these switches first and then we'll go 